next Wednesday. Hey, someone comes! Help now! It looks like trouble is brewing. All I know, there was no love between Marie Willis and Gary at the time of his stabbing. When it comes to business, I don't lose. You already have me as an enemy. You don't want Marie as one, too. Pay up, or your little fresh start is gonna come to a quick end. Roast the riches, wreck your edges! Are you serious? Let's go, ladies! Roast the riches, wreck your edges! Roast the riches! This is a nightmare! Tyler Perry's... Okay, folks, you just saw the trailer for next week's episode, Season 8, Episode 5, Wounded Euros. And the synopsis says, Andy becomes entangled in intense confrontation surrounding Gary. Knew that was going to happen. While Karen's business faces potential danger. Whoa. Meanwhile, Sabrina is torn between her loyalty to her man and supporting her friend. Now, initially, I thought it was Andy, but based on the promo, it seems like it's Maurice, or it could be both. So before getting into the trailer break now, make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media, links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to select all. That way you are up to date whenever I post content on the channel. So um, not much to talk about this year. I, I literally have a third of a page of notes because the trailer really didn't give us a lot to work with. But um in terms of Andy, there are really only like two things to talk about here. Now, she's asking the doctor if there are any updates on Gary's condition or what happened to him. And the moment she asked the question, Hudson's like, hey, what's going on here? And I'm like, mm, first of all, you better not put your hands on Andy. I know that much. But then I don't know what happens, but whatever happens is not good because Andy is then seen at the penthouse. She's crying. And I mean, real tears this time because she's frustrated it's almost like she's hyperventilating <laughs> and then she's like chugging down a glass of wine so she's either super frustrated gary has taken a turn for the worse um or something i don't know i honestly couldn't tell you but either way i'm like dang we finally see some legit tears on andy's face and um it mu she must have gotten like told off or kind of like sabrina she's tired of being accused of stuff she didn't do but yeah uh this is pretty good this is pretty good now, from there, we have Karen, who is dealing with a lot. Vanessa's pretty much turned the entire shop against Karen. Roots to riches. <laughs> Wreck show edges. So there's like a whole mob. And basically, she's like, look, you're either going to pay up that $400,000 she wants, or your little fresh start is going to come to a quick end. Like, you know, just pay. You're going to pay what you owe. Or I want to take you for everything you got. And I mean, this is awful. This is like... Man, it's bad enough she's already in the red, but um, some people are theorizing, do you think the stress of this lawsuit could cause a premature labor? Possibly. But um, regardless, you know, Karen is mad at Pam. It's like, this is what I get from it, allowing you to sell your homemade concoction in my salon. And then, you know, <laughs> Pam's like, oh, now you're trying to backpedal. But it goes back to what I said before. Like in season seven, in some instances, you could argue Karen was coming across as a hater, but she was giving solid advice about, you know, doing a business license and whatnot. And um, just because she made this concoction in the back of Karen's salon, you know, is it like chemically tested and whatnot? Do your, does the bottles contain all the ingredients in it? So that way, if there was a lawsuit, then you could have somewhat of a protection stating that, hey, the bottle says everything that's in the um the uh the ingredient the ingredients all the ingredients in the roots to riches product and you know um i don't know it's weird um but yeah this is really bad really bad and look don't be looking at uh zach for no money he's a stay-at-home dad right now his money's tied up with gary fatima's the only one working and she's about to find out she's pregnant they ain't got no four hundred thousand dollars for your own flop of a business mistake I wonder if she could really get sued for that. I mean, obviously she can, but you know, the fact that the product is sold out of the salon, like did this woman get her hair done at the salon with Roots to Riches or did she buy the product, take it home, use it, and then it freaked up her hair? Huh. I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, if I bought, like if I went to the general store up the street and I bought, I don't know, a Snicker bar and then I opened it took a bite and found out it had bugs in it like would i sue the store or would i sue snickers 
it would probably be the story because if it's an expired candy bar, then I don't know. It's just a whole bunch of complications with that. But either way, Karen's in trouble. But honestly, I wish they didn't have to deal with this storyline. I would have been more interested if Karen and Pam, most of their storyline taking place this season had to do with them becoming business partners and um, getting that investment for Marie and then expanding Roots to Riches and whatnot. That would have been great, but we got to have the drama, folks. And in terms of the rest of the trailer, there's only one thing to talk about. That's the return of Marie Willis. Uh, wow. So, oh, actually, no, I missed a part. We got to talk Maurice. Um, so Maurice is looking over, you know, something at the counters of the bank. And it's like he's frustrated over the new pins. And then Paige comes down the stairs like, hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? And then they're having a, you know, big argument. Sabrina's in the office with uh, Rich, but over here. So she has to rush down there and break him up. So, I mean, in terms of her loyalty to her man and supporting her friend, I mean, maybe it is Andy rather than Maurice, because I'm just wondering what's going on here. But, yeah. So, then we go over to Marie. She returns to Hayden's office, like, did you miss me? And then she's like, um, when it comes to business, I don't, I don't lose. So, I guess because Hayden has taken over Mar Andy's caseload, that also includes Marie. Uh, I mean, well, the only reason she's there is if she has another um, lawsuit that needs work, considering the fact that, well, Andy closed a divorce case. So there's that. But hey, I love the actress. Uh, she did a great job last season as Marie Willis. So it was good to see her back. Now, we go over to Hayden and talk to Fatima. Like, look, you already have me as an enemy. You don't want Marie as one, too. So maybe... Fatima is, you know, still on the fence about working for Hayden. But when Hayden makes the point that Miss Marie don't play around. So whatever you have against me, you better make sure you set it to the side so we can take care of Marie. And then we go over to Fatima talking with Zach. It's like, hmm, I don't know. Because Marie, there was no love lost between her and Gary before the stabbing. So, oh yeah, that also brings up the question, which I highly doubt. Did Andy ask or tell anybody that Marie said she would handle the Gary situation. No, I highly doubt it. But as dragged out as it is, I did mention this in a lot in another video that to some extent, I do like the fact that these characters keep popping up Robin, Marie and Tamara. And it's like, Hmm, I don't know. Could they have been the one who did the stabbing because this person had a reason to that person had a reason to. So I feel like we're going to go down the entire list of suspects I had before we finally find out who actually did it. So with that being said, that's really all I have for this particular uh, trailer. Let me know if you're excited about it in the comment section below. As I mentioned before, I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment to hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.